Well, here we are. This is episode 9 of Shadow of the Colossus. Uh, so yeah, I am past the halfway point now. Um, first eight colossi are, have been defeated, and so now I will be working on the last eight. And uh, what a what a lovely one to begin with. Um, this is arguably um, one of the harder, or rather one of the hardest uh, colossi to defeat. Uh, in this game, um, I think it's kind of appropriate where it is where it is positioned in terms of the order in which you uh, face off against the Colossi. This one is uh, it's a good indicator that like okay, so you got through half of the game. Congratulations. Uh, now you <laughs> now the game's gonna get serious for a bit. Um, Personally, I, I don't really have an issue with this particular Colossus. I know there are some people I've I've seen online who have stated that this is their least favorite one. Um, that it's uh, that it's a little bit too much of a difficulty spike out of kind of nowhere, um, and that it uh, uh, that that it can be very very temperamental in terms of what you have to do and how you're supposed to defeat it. Um, personally, I I actually rather like it um, I think I think it's a very I think it's a very cool fight and I think it's a really good way to um, start off the second half of the game um, and more importantly I love where it's located uh, it's got one of the more unique uh, arenas in the game I think uh, but uh, according to Dorman as as they mentioned um, Dorman is uh, let us know that uh, uh, that it's on a li like a dried lake bed, and uh, that that's a, it's a it's really it's a really cool um, it's a really cool place. Uh, before I do anything, though, I'm actually going to stop at this little um, little uh, prayer shrine. As you can see, my health and stamina have gone up a little bit. Um, you know, some of that's from fruit and lizard tails. Uh, some of that's from, uh, I believe the game, it's, I, I believe Wander actually does get, like, um, upgraded on his stamina and health after every Colossus fight. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that is the case. Um, which is neat. That's like a nice little bit of progression. Where are you going, Agro? <laughs> Agro apparently is just done. She, she wants nothing more to do with any of this. I can't say I blame her. All right. Okay. So, um, but just as an interesting uh, uh, thing to to note about, like the the lizard tails and the uh, the fruit. A lot of times, um, you know, they're they're not just kind of randomly strewn about. Um, there is a little bit of level design involved in this, in that uh, more often than not, when you're on your way to many of the colossi, you'll come across um, like these shrines, and they'll usually the little save shrines. They'll usually have, um, uh, you know. A lizard or maybe a fruit tree or something near them so everything is placed very specifically it's not just kind of thrown out there randomly there is a there is a method to the madness of it um, but here we are we have made it to the dry lake bed I mean look at this place this place is neat this is nifty it's just it is I mean it's just a dry lake bed with a bunch of geysers uh, going off, as you can see. It's very steamy. One can assume it's probably extremely humid in this area. Very hot, too, I, I, I would imagine. 
course, since we're here, I guess we'll be encountering our next Colossus. And uh, this one's unofficial name is Bossaron. Um, and the developers refer to it as, or referred to it during development as the Turtle. Um, so I guess we'll see in a moment what that entails. As you can see, there's a large, what looks like a cave back here. So let's head that way and see what we can find. Here, geysers still going off. You can see them billowing into the into the into the air. Now, one of the things I can mention about the second half of the game is that, um, unlike the first half, uh, aggro is going to play a bigger role uh, in many of the Colossus fights. Um, so, like this one, for instance, uh, Basaron fires a bunch of um, uh, blasts of energy, uh, and if you're not on aggro, you literally cannot dodge them. Like, they, they come so fast and at such a weird angle in some cases that it's it's literally impossible for Wander to run fast enough uh, to, to get away from them in time. Now, you may be wondering, well, how the heck do you even... What do you even do here? Well, obviously the geysers play a role in this. Um... It's not as complicated as I think some people have made it out to be. Um, it's not the most complicated thing ever. Basically, you have to get him underneath a geyser. Or over a geyser, I should say. And then once that happens, he gets lifted up just enough to... Um, and force his legs up, and then you have to fire under his legs. Or under his feet, I should say. That's one. That's two. All right. See, I don't really think Bosseron is that hard. I just think it's a really cool fight because, you know, again, aggro is so, um, you know, necessary in it. And I'm not really sure how to climb up on this bad boy now. Uh-oh. This is not so great. Here we go. Ah! Here we go. Definitely not good. All right, that's okay. We're still over that guy's under the or over that guy's there. No, doesn't look like it. Jagro, where is that guy's there? Agro.
Okay. There you go, aggro. Okay. Alright. Now, if I'm not mistaken, once you've actually taken his legs like that, once you've hit him both with arrows, uh, you don't have to technically do that again. You just, um... See if I can get his attention. Try to get him right here, that'd be great. Thankfully, he does move while he's doing all that, so... Okay. Let's try this again. We want to go over this way. I know it's not. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Okay, where is the weak point? That's the part I need to figure out right now. It's on his... Okay, it's like on top of his shell. Come on, aggro. This is really, really... It's like the actual getting... Foster on to do what you need him to do. That's not too difficult, really, but, um, you know, the actual climbing on top of him, that's, that's the tough part. It's not, it's not made as apparently clear as you might think as to, like, what you need to do or where you need, like, how you need to climb him up on top of him. Oof, that was not great. Definitely don't want that. I think where a lot of people tend to get a little confused on this fight, or not confused, but rather have problems with it, is just the fact that, you know, aggro is kind of a necessary element of it. Um, and since the game really hadn't set, I mean, it really hadn't utilized aggro in this regard uh, up to this point, you know, it's, it's, I can understand how that could be a little bit, um, uh-oh, why is, why is it doing this again? Okay. That 
get it? No. I did not get it. Oh, jeez. That's not good. Come on. Whoa. And obviously the geysers can uh, knock you around too. Get up, Wander. I'm gonna be able to get to him in time. Let's try it this way. Maybe this will do it. I think that's it. All right, now I'm on. Now as long as nothing too crazy happens, I should be okay. Whew, Lord, oh Lord, come on now. Again, these uh, Wander's animations in particular here are just fantastic, I think. You know, just seems so fragile compared to this gigantic beast. Bossaron is a really cool fight, though. I, I, I understand where people could get frustrated with it, but I think it's a genuinely cool Colossus fight. I think it's a really, it's a really, it's, I don't know, it's, it's a, you're a lot more active in this one. Like, there's a lot, there's a lot more moving parts with, involved, and I, I, I always like stuff like that. Not really liking stabbing this thing in the head, and it's just, I mean, just geysers of blood. I guess it's blood anyways, that's my, that's what I've always assumed. Uh oh. That's it! Got him. Right on. Well, there we go. That's the end of episode nine. We're officially in the half, you know, in the second half of the game. This is, this, you know, now we're getting closer and closer to the end, I suppose, but. Hmm. You gotta wonder if that hurts. I've always just assumed it killed him somehow and you just kept coming back, but in any case, hopefully you, Hopefully you enjoyed this, and uh, hopefully you'll join me for the next episode. So thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day. Goodbye.